This is Umbroxen. Check it out. It comes in a powder form and we dilute it into this. Come with me. This is Umbroxen. And what is Umbroxen? Umbroxen is gonna be the aroma chemical that they use to mimic Ambra, uh, ambergris. Ambergris comes from the well. I don't know if you can see the little well on it, right? We did a video actually on this before in the past about ambergris. This is going to be the aroma chemical ambroxin. After you take the powdered form and you dilute it, you get a liquid like this. I don't know if you can kind of see, I don't know if the camera is going to focus on it, how you still have those little crystals inside. But this is going to be an aquatic smell. It's considered an anomalic smell. And this is going to be very oceany, right? It smells like water. This is going to be the smell that comes from ambergris and it has a clean, fresh, aquatic, maybe slightly citrus, not so much, but it's considered an animalic. When we think animalic, we think that it's going to be a stinky smell, something like um, like a farm, but not this. This is going to be very pretty, very beautiful. This is going to last on the skin for seven, I'm sorry, on a test strip for 750 hours. So if you want to figure that out, we'll take 750. Oh, 750 divided by 15, and it lasts about 50 hours on the skin. I don't know if it's, you can see it on the camera, but it lasts about 50 hours on the skin. And Broxin is a beautiful note to add to perfumery. You don't need that much. If you use the crystal form, the crystal form is going to be a little bit stronger. We dilute ours to about a 10% dilution. It's easier to work with that way in the perfumes. Other people will take the powder and actually use it, heat it up with the other ingredients to use it uh, straight at 100% dilution, right? Or 100% strength. Again, it's an animalic. It has a dry. It has. It's like a dry note, but it's a, but it's a. It's a, it's a aquatic note at the same time. Kind of hard to explain. If you've never smelled it before, uh, you wouldn't really understand where I'm coming from. But if you do smell it, you'd be like, "Oh my god, it's a very pretty smell." It's a smell that 99% of people love. Nobody has ever smelled it and said, "Ew." This is a great smell to add to perfumery. It's an expensive ingredient if you get the raw ambergris, but this is kind of affordable if you get the ambroxan. Again, this is gonna be. Uh, for notes that are going to be citrus. It goes really well with citrus, right? It's going to be considered the base note as well. Hopefully that helps.